everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Terror Crave. We are your hosts, Lee and Jason. Jason, what's up, buddy? Uh, happy Thanksgiving. It's over happy, now, but happy Thanksgiving. Yes, and a happy Thanksgiving to you. It is over. And as you and I were just discussing before the show, guys, sometimes we were just saying our, our conversations before we kick off the show are even fantastic. You guys should listen in. We should do a show about our conversations before the show. <laughs> well, we don't want too many views. <laughs> don't give them everything. Uh, no, but I had a great one, man. Um, sounds like you definitely did as well. Have you started decorating for Christmas yet? I mean, it's fine, okay? It's 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 good now. Oh, well then, uh, yes. The answer is yes, we actually started decorating and we still are the missing doing some decorating. We started decorating before, uh, last weekend. Um, is when a lot of that stuff started started kicking up. Ah, well, I just noticed that your clock is down in the back, so I noticed the Santa sleigh back there, which is pretty nice. I like oh, that. Look at you, detective. Yes. Well, I'm yes. I'm always trying to see if you've changed the batteries in that clock yet, which I don't think you. No, had because the where last I am, time. there exists no time. It's... <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> you, not, you work from yes. home now all the time, so yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's where I am, my friend, in that zone. Somebody yeah. said the Twilight Zone. No, no, yeah. no. This so now that you'll never know now because Santa out there is vast. You'll never know if it's AM, PM. I guess you never knew before because it always stayed at eighteen hundred yeah. hours. I don't even know what time it was on. Well, I, I should know. <laughs> I, I look at it every week. Actually, my wife was the first one that does she does Lee know that 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 clock doesn't work? I said he probably knows. I would I would think so. <laughs> Anyway, I get up when the sun comes up. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, like we said, we are on the end of the Thanksgiving week. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically, we're recording on a, this is a Sunday we're recording. Usually, you and I are anxiously awaiting the arrival, or if we haven't already watched the new episode of The Walking Dead. But, Jason, after 12 years and 11 seasons, we yeah. no longer have The Walking Dead look forward to my friend i think it um lasted a lot longer than I, th I thought it would what about you did you think it would last 12 seasons i i don't know no. if i thought it would get that far i, I thought maybe I it would get five or six or something yeah i do remember being just really excited about the show i the you know i never really heard of the walking dead graphic novel or comic book before it was picked up Me um i i and uh and actually didn't read any of them until a few years into the actual series itself uh, but i just remember being very excited about it. i know it uh, started on october 31st came out on a halloween night which was on a sunday of that year and i remember taking quit out trick-or-treating he went to bed pretty early he was like a year old came home was able to relax and get ready to watch this episode of the walk dead and it was incredible it was fantastic um i really loved it was just surprised about how how good it was i guess you know I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I remember the previews for it and I was, and I didn't know Andrew Lincoln. My wife knew him from, you know, Oh, what is it? The Love actually. Love actually. Yeah. Yep. So, so I, I recognized him, but, um, I'm like you, I hadn't really, I think I'd seen a couple of the comic books, but not enough to like be a start collecting them or anything. Right. Uh, but I, I kind of knew about them, but, um, when the after the first episode i was kind of hooked on it because it, up to that point there were no like uh horror genre tv shows other than charmed or buffy or something like that you know and they were done I, they were gone a long time ago but they were i will have to correct and just say that true blood actually was out <laughs> before the walking dead if i'm not and i know you never you were a true blood fan but i i would say that this was you know what I mean? Um, for a mature show, yeah, True, True Blood. They, but that they, was they on HBO, year. right? It was it was on HBO? And to your point, AMC at that point was not known for a lot of um, shows. Really, I mean, no, they were like Turner I mean? TCM or so Turner Classic Movies or something, right? Weren't yeah, they yeah. showing like older stuff? Yeah, really, they really were. And then with this Walking Dead, and then Mad Men beforehand, I think with yeah. that, and then Breaking Bad right after that. Oh my gosh! Breaking yeah. Bad right around the same time. Then they they made a big splash. 
But yeah. you know, we'll, we'll stay focused as we need to stay focused on the Walking Dead. Or else we're, <laughs> next thing you know, you and I'll be talking yeah. about the fifth episode of the fourth yeah. season of Breaking Bad. But <laughs> we'll be we'll be ending the show saying, uh, "Well, Merry Christmas to you and, yes, and yours. Exactly. And, uh, have a great Christmas tomorrow." <laughs> yes. No. But um, yeah, I no. I, I, to answer your original question, I had no idea it would last that long. Um, I enjoyed. I, I could. I could honestly say, I think I enjoyed for the most part every season. Yeah. Uh, there were obviously some episodes that were better than others, but it was never like I was like, uh, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, yeah. You know, but I. I think that. I mean, it was. It made a huge splash. Um, it. It started and then it went at, at, at its height. Of its popularity, I think it was fifth, fifth and sixth season, um, when it was huge, and then they came back, you know, with with trying to figure out the cliffhanger for the season seven premiere was like identifying Glenn, yeah. who was who was going to die, who was going to get killed by yeah, yeah, yeah. Lincoln. That's how season six ended, and yeah. then season seven had like premiere, but had like 22, 21, 21, 22 million viewers. I think that's the height, that's the best it ever got. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but to say that. On a show, on a channel like AMC, to have them that many viewers, in its heyday, it was crushing network television shows, mm -hmm. which at that point had really been unheard of. Yeah, you know yeah, what well, I mean. I, I, and not trying to open another wormhole because I know how we are with things. But if I think like American Horror Story when that came out, I loved it and and have loved a lot of the seasons. But I'll say like the last few seasons, they haven't. I, I'm not even watching this season. I watched like some of the first episode and I was like, I, I'm not going to watch any more of this. And, right. and I have it. I, it just doesn't appeal to me at all. And it's not scary. Like the first several seasons were, but this I'm like you with walking dead. I've, I know you have the, some fans that got mad because when Glenn wasn't killed, when he was supposed to get killed earlier or uh, different, different things with certain characters getting killed and certain characters not getting killed and not following the, the storyline of the comics i can see they lost some viewers on that but well i i, I enjoyed it i thought it yeah, was I, a good series i so for the most part they did um but i mean yeah i mean 21 million viewers roughly like i said from, at that season seven premiere they're ending at season 11. i think they ended with about 4 million viewers which is still pretty good for a, a show that's sure you know what i mean compare comparatively speaking to other network shows that are happening right now and others you know cable cable network shows um yeah, it was it was time for it to end. I will say this before we actually get into talking about the episode. Um, I do feel like a lot of people, I don't, I don't know if they were let down by it. Well, let me ask you this before I say what I'm going to say. Were you let down or were you, was it just what you thought it was going to be or was it better than you thought it was going to be? Honestly, it was pretty much what I thought it was going to be. It, if it was what I had wanted, a, a lot more of the main people would have got killed. Right. Um, I think they they pretty much told us the the way they were going with the movies what was going to happen or the new series that were, are coming out they kind of focused a little more on those characters towards the end of it um i guess uh judith is just going to stay in the town is that what happened yeah yeah she's staying with uh carol and ezekiel yeah, I guess that's fine. And, you know and, what I mean? They're going to raise... She's, she's been passed along to so many people. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Rick Taylor, Michelle, Michelle left with Dale. Now Daryl's leaving her with this. Um, what is your comment though? Sorry. I, well, I just think the torch what should have been handed to her now to be like, uh, you know, went from... Well, Carl was who the... It was... If you look at the books, Carl is the main character, not Rick. But in the in the show rick is the main character and when he leaves well you think carl is going to turn into that character and keep going but that didn't work out so with judith they were building her up man i thought that you know well, well real quick the one big difference in between the way the graphic novel ended and the way the show ended is rick dies in the episode or i'm sorry in the in the, in the graphic novel that's the way that ended he 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 died he was killed by the what's her names the the uh governor's um, son who was not killed in the graphic novel he wasn't right. killed you know like he was um by eugene um he was actually he was actually alive near the end and he killed rick yeah and then the, it flashes back it flashes years later and it shows that society has kind of come back and shows the judge and all of this stuff now society's kind of come back um and and then they show carl as an adult you know he's in his early yeah. 20s blah blah blah, blah, blah and they're kind of like moving so on right 
the episode, I think, it couldn't do that for a number of reasons, right? Because, of course, even though this was the end of The Walking Dead, I I feel like it was not the end. You know, that's why I feel like it was kind of a, a lackluster. That lackluster was a good episode of The Walking yeah. Dead. You know what yeah. I mean? It felt a little rushed. It did. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, but I just felt like it, it was um, it, because of we the main characters that we knew that they were living on. You know, specifically Megan and Mary. I wish they had never said that. Megan and Maggie getting their own show. Daryl and supposedly at one point Carol getting her own show, and then Rick and Michonne getting their own show. You knew that those guys were going to live on. You know what I mean? So that takes out a lot of the suspense right off the bat that those guys are going to make it. You know, now Rosita, and then there was left the other people, and I won't even say they're B B level people. They're all important characters to someone. You know what I mean? Um, But I really thought. Now looking back, I see why it wasn't Ezekiel, why he didn't. Pass. I thought it was going to be him who right. got killed. Um, you know what I mean? That's really what I thought would have, they would have tried to get that emotional ending. They did it with Rosita. Um, yeah. um, did you feel like it still had packed that emotional punch? And I will say this real quick before you answer that question. This was the longest turning I've ever seen. I know, <laughs> man. I know, you know what that's... I mean? She got bit and then lasted on throughout the battle and then all of yeah. that. Then they it was a, that going to like the next several day. days, man. Yeah, it seemed like it at least. Maybe it wasn't, yeah. but that's what it seemed like. I was like, good gosh, usually it's like, they got to kill this dude now. You know what I mean? Before well, it goes. I can tell you, like, when she fell back in, into all the walkers and they, like, took her down, I was like, oh, man, they got her. And that was my... That's how much I was into that part right there. Oh, all right, well, there's one. Good. Let's yeah. go. You know, because I want them to die. I'm waiting for the all these people to die. I guess I'm more like George A. Romero. That's why he said, no, I'm, I couldn't direct 20 of shows. You let everybody live. So I, I'm, <laughs> well, you know what? how my movies are, Lee. I, everybody, nobody survives. Right. Um, but when she fell back and then when she got out, I was like, whatever, man. And, and I was like, she had to have gotten bit. And, and then when she was bit, I was like, good. Good, good. There you go. You know, not that, not as much that she was bit, but because I was right, it's like, yeah, there's no way that she could have gotten in there and then jumped up and just been like, but that's you know, the, all of a sudden. Yeah I, I, yeah, I will say that part did get me originally when she fell. Initially, when she fell, because the baby, I thought, yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I was like, oh my god, because there's, yeah, again, there was just no way for her to looking at it right off the bat that she survived it. You know what I mean? They were order. Now I understand that, like you said, I'm glad she got bit, but it really did get me at first. Like, I was like, oh my God. Now, if they had gone <laughs> on and carried that, that would have made for, like, ended it like that. Like, she just fell into the zombies, and you're like, oh, geez. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's, yeah. I think that would have yeah. left for a memorable. It was a jaw dropper. You know I, you know, I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like that. Yeah, I'm not going to, I ain't going to lie about it. I was, but that, because she had the baby, too. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. And then she got up and fought all the walkers off. <laughs> yeah, then I got look. And, yeah. and got back up and climbed up the thing and got away. And I was like, hmm. no, no, that you got you can't leave out the super lead. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot. You worked your way I all up the super lead. Yeah. I mean, she did all of that superhuman stuff, and then yeah. the super leap on top of it was incredible. I was like, no way. Zeta, what yeah. are you, where'd you been this whole time? You With know? the baby. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, strapped to her. Gracious. Yes. Um no, I, it was good. I, I really wanted more people. Uh, I would have been fine if Eugene died and got, and that's what started like the whole everybody just like going crazy. Um, I am surprised that they didn't kill Carol off because she's supposed to be in the spinoff. It was supposed to be her and Daryl, right? Yes, originally, and, and then she couldn't move to Europe because that's where they're going to film. Yeah. I, I. No, I think they're going to have plans. I don't think this is the last we'll see of Carol. I don't think this is the last we're going to see a lot of the people. No, because I was thinking, well, just because they're calling the the Rick and Michonne little short series, that doesn't mean that they're not going to get back over there and get Judith. and Exactly. I hope you know they do, I mean? man, because that's one thing that bothers me about Rick. Um, and he's I, he's one of my favorites, but... This guy that went out of his way, did anything, you know, put his life on the line to save his family. And and at least it looks like he's trying to get back to her in the little preview that they showed. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So 
Yeah. He, oh, yeah. Let's talk about that then. They showed Rashad and Rick. She's fallen in this, with some people. Looks like she's with those people. Whatever she was wearing, looked like she was with those that group that she rode up to at the very end last we yeah. saw her. I mean, yeah. looks like she fell in with them. Seems like they're good people, apparently. But yeah. then, so that um, Rick though has been held by not the Commonwealth, but the uh, the other group that was in the CRM that was specifically seen a lot in that World Beyond uh, spinoff that happened, you know, that ran for two seasons. And they popped up a lot, the pilot, the helicopter pilot and stuff like that, that popped up and Fear the Walking Dead. So yeah, they've, where they've were been they having him. I thought they were located in like the New York area or maybe Canada. Is that where Rick did it look? Could, I, Forgive me for not um, remembering, but it did it look like Rick was in New York or somewhere like that? Or? All right, so they did show a, um, I saw some little clip or something and showed him in front of water, and it looked like um, like New York was on the other side of the water, like Manhattan you didn't was see, over You there. saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so say, I, that's, you, you saw the thing that came, played after the show? Yes. Okay, yeah, where the what, helicopter came down, but then I just saw yeah. like a... It didn't dawn on me where he was, but when they showed the helicopter, then like there's, I saw a still picture of it like, oh, okay, like okay. a couple gotcha. days ago, and you can see that it looks like New York in the background. Huh. And that's exactly where Megan and, and yeah, Maggie's so, show will be taking place. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be some kind of crossover between that too. But I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see the Daryl one because he's going on overseas, it looks like. And, yeah. That's where the the newer walkers were, right? Wasn't that yep. that little clip? Indeed, the faster ones. Um, but I mean, it looks like they're coming over here too, anyway. I mean, you what know, kind we... of motorcycle is he riding that gets all the way over? <laughs> well, the way the show says he wakes up there on the shore, has no idea how he got there. So he's not, he doesn't uh -huh. go to Europe willingly, from what I understand. Uh -huh. It's not like so. That's part of the mystery of what's he. They're getting doing the crazy there. Americans for bait. Dropping you know? them all, maybe. I don't know, but it should be good. I mean, I am. I'm definitely gonna watch all three. They got me. I mean, they, they got me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Now I well, think you have to. Fear the, Fear the Walking Dead. I really wish they could catch up in time. And what I mean by that, because I think they're still a few years behind the Walking Dead timeline. Are they um, still that far it, behind? I am pretty sure they are. I I, I feel like they are. Um, it would be great if they could kind of get them up to date or up to speed, so there could be some major. I don't know. You know, I like to see Morgan and them kind of reenacting with his crew again or whatever. Yeah. But maybe they yeah. will do a time jump here um, shortly. But anyway, uh, they've got those four. I mean, The Walking Dead lives on with four shows. Sure. I'll enjoy them. I'll watch all of them. Which uh, of, of the original Walking Dead, what was your favorite season for them? Oh, gosh. Well, Quinn is now going back and watching The Walking Dead. And he Ethan is. too on season six so uh, quinn is him. right where negan is crew is starting to make their appearance you know what i mean um like i think he this recently he was in the episode where uh carol was captured by negan's crew uh -huh. and she was talking to the red-haired girl a lot you know what i mean and that was just kind of a lot of a lot of carol centric episode um, yeah so i say all that to say i think man I really had a hard time with season seven. I hated just Negan was just like pressing Rick down. You know what I mean? Just like I don't know. So I will say season five. I thought season five and six to me were really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think season yeah. five and six were were, were 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 good. I enjoyed parts of season season seven, but I hated Negan so much the way he was just like he kept Rick up under his snow. You know what I mean? It oh was, my gosh, yeah. Uh, man. He had Daryl working for him in that where that you know they brought Daryl back to the town and was had him taking the <laughs> all the artillery out. They had Maggie hide for her life, and it was just <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I think I'm gonna have to agree with you there. I, yeah. I, I think that. Probably season five and six. I like all that. Negan, I really like Negan. Um, I, uh, Ethan and I, we've started at the beginning with him, and um, he is, they just went through Terminus. Like, you know, they just had the big fight with Terminus, and Rick just got reunited with Judith, and uh, that's where we're at now. And he's really liking it, and he knows some of the people on around. Like, he came in and he saw what was happening to Glenn. 
you know, like with Negan. So he knows that Glenn and uh, Abraham are dead. Like um, he got so excited when they first met Abraham, you know, in, in the few episodes back that we're watching now. And he was like, oh, Abraham, you know, like he, he realized who it was or whatever. And uh, he's on the Negan train right now. Like he, uh, not Negan, I mean, um, uh, Daryl. He's on the Daryl okay. wagon. Right. So, yeah, he's a big Daryl fan. He was like, oh, like he, his uh, Christmas, his Santa list that he made up, uh, he's got a Daryl action figure on it. Oh, like, really? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you'll see. So I have some Walking Dead stuff, but I don't have a Daryl because. Right. Now you're, about to, you're about too soon. Yeah. You're about, you're about yeah. too soon, my friend. Yeah. No. Um, and so Quint, it's funny because Quinn is the same, right? He knows that. He actually knows. I think Quinn knows pretty much. He knows. I don't know if he knows Abraham dies. I know he knows Glenn dies. And and he knows that Rick disappears after a yeah. season. Yeah. So he yeah. knows little things like that. That, you know what I mean as well. So but he doesn't it's... know about Judith. Ethan doesn't because oh. he didn't. He didn't see this latest season, so he doesn't know. Because he thought Judith when at the prison when they just found her baby carrier, and the baby was gone, but there was blood all over it. He thought that she got eaten. Uh, she so did. Like, oh, poor thing. <laughs> yeah. So it is good. It's you know I was I wish he hadn't seen like the episode. I just went back and started watching that episode. I wanted to see the whole that that episode where Negan comes out of the the camper and does his business. Well, well, well. He just was just a he just was <laughs> always just a yeah strutting it and talking. I and know, <laughs> man. He was just so smooth and and calm and relaxed about everything. But I don't he know. Always you always had a soft back. spot for Carl. He did, you know. Yes. I mean, he was remember yep. he was making fun of him that one time when Carl from yeah. the problem. Yeah, the and, and then Judith he, he too, felt, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he loved Judith. Um, yeah, I thought it was good, man. I, I, the, the, the finale was fine. It was pretty much what I thought was going to happen. I, I was kind of hoping they take out some of the more main players, but, um, it kind of ended the way I thought it would. The, yeah. the whole one year later thing, like, was a, it's like, oh man, was that in? Then, oh, one year later. It's like, oh, they all look the same. Why wouldn't they change? It's been a, you know, at least change my shirt. No, I'm just yeah. And so, but then, you know, when I said looking back now, I understand why they didn't kill Ezekiel. It's because he was the right guy to take sure. over and, and run that place. You know what I yeah. mean? It, it, they had kind of been saying that the whole season, I guess. Seven yeah, months. but he was supposed yeah. to be killed way back when, if you want to go back to the comic books. Well, no, yeah, he was, was supposed to be. Mistake. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. No. So, so that's another like I thought he might go. Though. Yeah, I like his yeah. character. I don't have a problem with him. But yeah, he would have yeah. been one I would have been fine with gotten killed though. Yeah, I think that would have been the emotional it hit, hit people more than it did. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, not that Rosie it wasn't, but you know. So who's your favorite? Uh, oh, and we just watched the one with the two girls, Lizzie and the little sister, where she kills her little sister because she's. Oh, man. Yeah. She, you know, thinks they're not going to kill her or whatever. Like, we just watched that and like. It, it was one of those moments actually when judith was in the thing and she was standing there over top of her sister and she said D you'll see she'll come back you know and then she she's like i was just getting ready to with judith and it was like oh my and he's like oh, she was gonna kill judith i was like yeah that that girl's crazy man and then the whole look at the flowers look at the flowers and ethan's like yeah she needed to do that and i was like yeah she didn't he? that girl was crazy can you imagine if that girl had grown up the kind of bad oh guy gosh. she would have been. Oh boy. Yes. That was rough. That was a rough episode. That was yeah. a rough one. Yeah. Yeah, damn. I, I forgot. There were some great episodes. Some great episodes throughout its eleven year run, for sure. You know I'm glad it did did so well because it gave more um uh series like you and I or and a lot of people would like to see. It gave them oh, yeah. a chance. It opened up a, a huge door. I mean American Horror Story. I don't know if that would have started without Walking Dead. I think American Horror Story started the same year as The Walking Dead. Did it come out the same year? I'm pretty remember. sure. So The Walking Dead started in September, or I'm sorry, October 2010. And American Horror Story came out in also 2010. 
Yeah, well, that one makes oh, sense. Oh, sorry, 2011. It... No, you're right. No, one year later. Sorry, my friend. October 5th, 2011, I think is when I came out. Yeah. Okay. Yep, 2011. So, yeah, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. It came I don't know later. why people question me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what. Oh my I, gosh. Yeah, I, was totally I get, some, I get something right at least once a month. You, you did, you did well on that one, my friend. You Thank did, you. you done did well. You done did well, sir. Yeah, you done did well. Well, cool, man. Well, I know that. So we both enjoyed it. Like we said, we just kind of took a little bit of suspense out of it, knowing that these major characters are going to move on, and we'll both continue to watch the, the Walking Dead. They've got fans. Yeah, and They've rewatch the old series. Yep. The only thing I don't think I re- I didn't finish the um I didn't finish that uh, anthology, the Walking Dead anthology. I I think you did. I did. I never did finish it. I never made it past the. Um, Wait, which one was that? Well, that came out this past few months ago. Oh, uh, the yeah the anthology. Well, Terry Crews and all those. Different. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know. That I need to go back and probably give those last three episodes a shot at least. Take it time. I wouldn't be in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's not bad. Yeah. You know, know it's not gonna be great though if like they Terry Cruz was the first series to try to draw everybody in. You know. I Danny know. Bonaducci would have been a, just a bigger name to throw in there with him. Or uh Lou Diamond Phillips. Danny Bonaducci, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean come on, Terry Cruz was on a successful <laughs> sitcom recently. Yeah, I, 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 I love Terry Cruz, man. It was, I don't know. Don't just Brooklyn. pick him to be in a series like this. Oh my goodness! And his acting wasn't great. I'm just saying. <laughs> pick it on Terry Cruz like that. <laughs> I wouldn't say oh, it to his wow. face. There we go. Yeah. Well, I know before we wrap up, we have a couple more things we wanted to talk about. At least specifically, the episode of uh, that the episode. We've talked a lot about the, uh, Blood and Honey. I believe it's called Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, how this give the audience here a little insight, you know, after, after uh, I think it's 80 years, I'm probably wrong about that, but somewhere around that time frame, after a property, creative intellectual property has been out for that time frame, anyone has the rights to be able to jump on it and, and make any type of movie, write any type of story, get a public wherever they want with it. That's happened with Winnie the Pooh, yeah. um, uh, Tigger is still, he was invented years later after Winnie the Pooh, so that's why he's not involved in this. But they've got other properties now that have come out. Um, Bambi, for one, and Peter Pan. So these are two new films that people are talking about making. Or not just talking about making, actually, they're actually starting to be made. What are your thoughts? Okay, Jason? all right. <laughs> oh. So I can see, like, uh, the Peter Pan thing happening. Uh, you know, because I always thought that was a little bit darker. To that. I always thought it was, like, he'd you know, bring the kids back to Never Never Land, and once they reach a certain age, he killed them. Right. And that you know, there's there's always been like dark stories around like Peter Pan, but I think Bambi's a stretch for me, man. I don't I don't quite how to see how this is going to happen, man. Like, is Bambi the killer? Is that what this is? I think you know. I think he's out after man. I mean, his man killed his mom right in front of him well he'd have to be a, a like a hell of a big deer with a huge like i mean like a ox looking deer you know what i mean like big muscles and like the big okay. antlers and... piglet my friend is running around killing people <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no, where no. is your where is your ire where know. is your fury know. about piglet Rocking around, destroying and killing people, and eating. I don't know if he's eating. I don't know he killed Eeyore. He ate Eeyore. <laughs> I don't know if he's killing the people. But I guess he's I, uh, I guess I They're didn't hungry. think of it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, but I agree. Um, it does come to mind though. I don't know if you ever saw that really funny SNL skit with The Rock. Yes. He played Bambi, yeah. and oh my gosh. They, it, yeah, it was supposed, and there was like a parody of the people, like Vin Diesel, like who somebody was playing him. And all. Yeah, he was Thumper, right? Yep. That yes. was funny. It was really funny. It I like was. how he gave the big speech, and then like the butterfly came in and landed on his nose, and they're like, oh. oh. Yep. <laughs> that was a great little skit. It really was, man. It really was. I mean, I will watch. It, it seems like there's getting some type of. I mean, I will watch them. 
I think I will. I will check these movies out if I come across them. Um, let's see how the Winnie the Pooh one does. I, what will be funny to me is if Winnie the Pooh one comes out. It's got like great ratings as far as like critics. I, I, something tells me it might do that. I in a few weeks we'll be I talking be about when it comes surprised. out. Be like, yeah, I'd be surprised. Yeah. So you were telling me earlier, um, because you you told me about Bambi coming out, that this might be the new trend. Do you do you think that is a thing? Yeah, I do. I I think I mean Winnie the Pooh hasn't even come out yet to see if it's going to be financially successful. But the fact that it's gotten so much attention, and now we've got the other two that are at least in pre production are about to be made, Peter Pan and the and the Bambi. You know what I mean? I think this is just the beginning of the new trend. Of, of films. I mean, you know, it happens all the time, right? I mean, the Saw movies came out that started the trend of torture porn. Yeah. You know, uh, which, you know, the Hostel series and other little crazy series that came out trying to emulate that. Um, that we had the. Well, the, it, it, horror does like that. You know what I mean? I, I can tell you that things. I'm not going to lie, for BT Haunts Productions, after we finish this episode, I'm probably going to look at what else is. <laughs> available to be made into something like that i don't know um is it just like the the ba well what were they they weren't part of um oh the like the with hansel and gretel and all that which i know a lot of people have done like a, a, some, a some fables yeah yeah or the, no. the grim grim brothers or oh, grim fairy tales yeah is that what you're talking about yeah, I mean, Bambi yeah. and them, they're not part of that. I don't, they're just old. I, I don't even know if they were little golden or what they were. The little golden books is what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, you remember them? I do, I do. Um, Grim, Grimm's Fairy Tales, they do have, that's like the Rapunzel. Yeah. The, that's part of, I mean, it, and then Aesop's Fables is another one, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. That maybe some of those stories came from. Um. A lot of those could be made. I mean, I think, for instance, Little Red Riding Hood is one of those films that. Oh. Be, well, they've had I mean? a few of those. They have. I'm just using that as an example yeah. that yeah. other type of, yeah. of, of other things that have uh, been out. I don't know. All kinds of different things huh. you could check into, man. I guess there's uh, maybe like a Christmas carols like that because a lot of people have redone a Christmas carol. Oh, well. Yeah, they, yeah, that's true. Brother, Brothers Grimm stories were this. They got Cinderella. They had Little Red Riding Hood, as I said. Hands like Gretel, Rapunzel. So those were all uh, little little uh, Brothers Grimm stories that are now open to. Did they do Snow White? Who did doing. Snow White? Snow White was Brothers Grimm. Okay. Also. Hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to keep that in mind. It is not Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid was Hans Christian Andersen. I know that was next to me question this. No, oh, was really? I just <laughs> really, yeah. I, I didn't know that was Hans Christian Andersen. Huh? Oh, well. Yep. I didn't know that's who wrote it. Yeah. Huh. All these stories, yeah. They, like I said, they've all been out long enough to to be able to well, people can do it for the well. Do with we should it. have done a Christmas Carol. We should have done a BT Haunts version. That right. would have been good. Yes. Yeah. Now this is not <clears throat> haunted related. Well, it is actually spirited. Have yeah. you seen that um, new Christmas film that's kind of like the Christmas Carol redone with uh, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell? I haven't seen it. Octavia yet. Lewis. You know what I'm talking about? It just came out yeah. like a week ago. It's on Apple yeah. TV. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Have you watched it yet? No, no, but that is, we're, we're going to. We'll, it looks uh, good. Looks we'll good. probably actually watch that tonight. Yeah. yeah. Nice little Christmas movie to finish up all of our. What about Christmas The Walking Dead? Oh, there's no. Exactly. Walking. Nope, nope. Not until 2023. I'm pretty sure it's January or February we'll have the the uh, beer FTW come, right? come back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Did they say when the Daryl and the the Negan? Uh, and... 2023. I'm guessing oh, okay. in the fall. Okay. At some point, you know, um, that's what they said. So I'm not sure which. I don't even know if they've announced which one's first. Uh. You know, or maybe they'll be back to back. Something tells me they won't be back to back because they've never done that with Walking Dead. No. Or did they? Did they ever actually? When the Walking Dead, when the Fear of the Walking Dead very first started, it did come on back to back with the Walking. It Dead. did. It was right after. It. Yeah. Yeah, and then they changed it up and then started to well, they were sad some type of Walking Dead thing going on. You know what That's I mean, probably the how they'll do these. 
yeah, I guess it's not. Too I'd be fine if they had them going all year long where they just, I mean, they got enough of them now with Fear and the other two series. I, I do know that all the whole, these first seasons will only be six episodes apiece. Oh. Uh, just see I how they go. That, I guess. Or maybe Probably. that's just, I actually prefer <clears> a six <throat> episode or an eight episode. So that way there's not like filler episodes. You know sure. I mean? Where they just kind of have to spin yep. wheels, so to speak. I prefer more of a self streamlined, self contained, streamlined uh through story you know what i mean well it, the it good just, thing is, is important. yeah well they're starting off with like main player characters so you're gonna you know um when fear first started they weren't oh uh, you knew who some of the actors were but they weren't main players that you knew before so yes it it was like it was good but it was it felt like it was you knew it was you where they were going with it but it took a while to get there because they had to tell you the background of each of these people, you know, even the son, the daughter, all that. What I liked a little bit about the very beginning episodes of Fear the Walking Dead is, I've said this before, I enjoy a good apocalyptic story. But I like how, and I, I, and I especially preferred, not prefer, enjoyed the, the, the fall of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? To see how society collapsed. That part of the story I enjoyed watching. You know what I mean? Um, while Walking Dead didn't give us that, <clears throat> it, it 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 didn't really you know Rick no, got it shot skipped right over it. Rick like, got shot and he period. woke up and he was mm -hmm. all, it already all happened. You know what I mean? We never really saw it. Fear the Walking Dead showed us a little bit more of it. You know about how I mean you know it started when everybody was good. sure you would see flourishes or or just you would see flashes of a guy walking down the street. I look at right. <sighs> You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like little things like that. I remember specifically, like, they'd be in a car and be looking at a guy walking. He'd be walking all staggered. He'd be like, Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, like like Shaun of clubs. the Dead. Yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, um, you just said something that reminded me uh, when you brought back the part about Rick getting shot and then he wakes up. And you remember in that, in the first episode, well, when Shane goes back and he's having his flashback of when Rick was in the hospital and he had to leave him there. Remember he put the the uh, gurney, the bed, hospital bed, in front of the door. So in the season or in the series finale, when Daryl left Judith oh. in the room, he put the bed up against the door. Did you notice that? Yep. No, I mean the I mean I I noticed it when it was happening. It didn't occur to me to link or the. I was uh, like, oh know. no, because I I yes. thought I was like, oh no, because I knew Daryl was leaving and all this. I said, man, they're just gonna leave and she's gonna wake up and it's gonna be kind of like with Rick. He's going to wake up and everybody's gone. But it wasn't. They came right back afterwards. But, but I was like, oh, that's a nice little nod. A little tip of the hat. Yeah, I do think this, I, I agree with you on that, man. I think I didn't notice it at all. But thank you for pointing that out to me. See, I need to go back and little, see if I miss any other little shout outs. Yeah, every once in a while they would do that. Like a little something that, oh, Call yeah. back or something. Yeah. 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 So, I like it. That's cool. What about... Like um? It. I know we ran longer on the we always do with Walking Dead. Um, we won't go into it too much. Uh, Wednesday. Yes. Uh, so I've seen the first episode of Wednesday. Um, I, I know that was directed by Tim Burton. I know he's not directing every episode of the series, um, but it was cool to see. I, I liked a lot of Burton esque things. I hadn't really seen Burton go hard, right, for a while, right. I mean, Dumbo was the last movie that I remember him making. You know yeah. what I mean? And and then before that, Big Fish. I don't I just remember him being specifically golf horror. It was really great to see him back in that world again. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. I think that the actress who is playing Wednesday is fantastic. Um, yeah. She was in X. Uh, and I think that she's doing a great... Uh, Jenna Ortega is her name. Um, I think that girl's going places. I, I really do because I've just seen her in so many good things recently. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, I remember actually seeing her for the first time back in my, oh my God, Yes Day. There's a movie on Netflix called Yes Day that the, uh, Serena loved. We were watching, and it was one of those family oriented films that had, um, uh, anyway, she was in that and now she's going on and she's in X and she's in this and she's just blowing up, man. But I thought yeah. it was great. I thought it was a real, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought uh, Captain Zeta Jones did a great job as Morticia. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I love. Yeah, and I was a little worried about that at first. Yeah, but I thought she did great. Yeah. I, I thought understand. she did really well. Um, I, I, it, uh, 
you, you can speak a little bit more on it than I can. I think you finished it, right? We did. I watched it. I uh, took off last Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and um, my son and I, Ethan, we, we will binge the whole thing. We started out, I was like, oh, look, Wednesday's on. I forgot it was even coming out that day, so I was kind of excited. And I said, well, we'll watch it. I said, did they put the whole se season out? I was like, oh, yeah, they did. And it's, it's what, seven or eight episodes? Eight. Yeah. Uh, we binged the whole thing, and it's really good. It's a good Adams Family series. She does a great job. I love that they have uh, Christina Ricci in it. Yes, and yes. That's awesome. Um, I loved uh, Thing in this one. I yeah. love the scars on him, and uh, they did a great job with the CG and everything. It, it looked really good. Like, he's very mobile and just, I like him, man. Like, he flipped somebody off at one time. Yeah, like, oh. I know. I think it was the, um, <laughs> when the boy, she had sent the, maybe it's multiple episodes, but it happened in season one, or episode one, when she sent a message to the boy and had it written on the thing. And he was like, <laughs> yeah, he flipped yeah. off the, uh, he flipped off him. He was video conferencing or video calling her. Um, I don't I, think they could have found a better person to play Wednesday. I really don't. That's what and she did. That, is great. She's she did doing great, it. man. Um, I liked seeing the uh, monster or the, like, you know, talking about the burntness touches, that monster at the end of the season, episode one, that came and saved Wednesday, I guess, when that boy was trying to kill her. Yeah. When he had her up against that tree. Just yeah. the, 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 the special effects that were used were very burntness. You know what I mean? Kind of that, that claymation, but I don't know. It just reminded me of a burntness type of monster. Does that make sense? Yeah, that is a typical. It, it is a monster you know. I don't think they've named what it is yet, but I won't tell you because you're not past one yet. Okay. Okay. So. But it just looked very, the way it was done, I'm saying. Like yeah. It just looked very Tim Burton. -esque. It did. It did. Yeah. I like it, man. I, I love the school that she goes to. Um, I love, like, her roommate is just almost like Wolf. she's not. Yeah, she's she's just like the opposite of Wednesday, you know what I mean? All bright yeah. and all the nice, shiny colors and it's pretty cool. I like the way that it, they did a good job. They did a good job. I agree. <clears throat> I agree. Definitely, my definitely um, would, would recommend that series to people, especially if you're an Adams Day or Adams Family fan. Yeah, for sure. Well, cool, man. Well, my friend, I think we said it all, sir. Again, probably more. <laughs> we said it all and more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much, as always, for joining us. We do appreciate it. I'm going to say, as I always do, please share, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Yeah. Pass it along to your friends, leave some comments. Um, we definitely appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. I think um, one of the next episodes, we should go over um, Christmas movies that, you know, horror and just regular family Christmas movies. I don't know if you've watched any yet. I've already watched a couple. You know, we there, put the tree up and stuff. So, yeah. They've been on here at our house as well. So yeah. no, I'm definitely down with that. All right, yeah. sounds like sounds like a bet. Yeah, cool. Well, guys, thanks again. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week, and stay tuned for the next episode. We will be sharing our favorite Christmas stories. Yep. and movies. Oh, and we're uh, filming on Saturday, so yes, stay tuned for that too. Ominous. I was making sure you didn't forget. Soon. Oh, I'm not going to forget. I will be there. <laughs> uh, I will be there, my friend. I'm going to be there. But Ominous, guys, we'll look out for that, too. we got the next movie coming out. Very excited about this one. You guys are going to dig it. Mm -hmm. Demons yeah. and stuff. Demons. Demons and ghosts. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Jason, have a good one, dude. All right. Later, Lee.